السلام عليكم سكن خطبة عيد الأضحى عند سبع أحمد مسجد الإسلام يدكشن ستة كاميرا سرّ
and how they restarted the spirit of a struggle, running to look for the livelihood in the halal way, and Allah let her do that. And when she started crying out of the hardship, and the baby crying, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told her now, you have tied the camel. Now I will do my part. And Allah did his part. And the water was given to the mother and the son. This is what this aid is all about. It is easy for me and you to praise Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ismail alayhi salam, Hajar alayhi salam. But we need to remember at the same time what beautified the aid, not the decoration we do at home for on our bodies, beautiful clothes, and cook the food. There was no food for Ibrahim. There was no food for Hagar. There was no food for Ismail. But they decorated their, their hearts and their mind with the beauty of submission. The real beauty is when I ornament my heart and make sure that every thought, every emotion in my heart is in accord with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every knowledge in my mind is in accord with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in another way or in other way. To be beautiful, there is only one way. And what is that? To decorate our hearts with Iman, with Islam, with the duties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Eid al-Adha is all about sacrifice. Not the meat, not the blood, but the piety. And when we find the Kaaba for our life, and the Kaaba is the glue that inviting the believers all over the world in a powerful way and they end up there in so many different ways. And many of them yesterday went, but not as many as this year. This year only chosen people have been taken to Mecca, to Arafat, to represent the rest of the believers all over the faith. At the same time to give a message Whenever you are able to go to Hajj, go, because next year you may not be able to go. You may be ready, but there is no Kaaba, or no way to the Kaaba. So find the Kaaba of your life, the direction that nothing can make you deviate from it. When your life becomes Allah-centered, and Allah will move your footsteps in life, and your life might be frightened due to that, but be like Ismail. Satajiduni, insha'Allah, minasabili. Regardless of the problems we are going through on our way to Allah, let the society find you a patient person. Let your children, your parents, your husband, your wife find you a patient one, because in the time of hopelessness, sometimes. Some people even think of checking out from this dunya. In the moment of hopelessness, but always remember, with iman, with faith, and patience, we will have victory over weak thoughts like that, thinking to give up. No, we can't give up, and we won't. And any problem should know what we stand for and what we will not stand for. So this aid is all about sacrifice. And to remember the true meaning of sacrifice, we think of Ibrahim alayhi salam, Hajar and Ismail alayhi salam, who were in lockdown, but they made it. At least we are in lockdown, but we have food, we have choices. We are not the first one to go through this. But as a believer, we repeat all the time, there is no problem that life can bring you don't have what it takes to overcome. We will overcome, but with the divine support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So A is the day 
that never ends because aid means happiness. Happiness for what? For your religious achievement. If you can achieve on a daily basis the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will rejoice every day. We will have aid every day. I close with the story of the two fathers and the two sons. As you know, Ismail alayhi salam, he was walking in the valley of shadow of death and he was not afraid. What was the driving force for him is a man. His father was calling him to death. When we look with our eyes and our emotion, it is death. But good people never die. Death for them is a divine invitation to the eternal life. But Ismail was a teenager, but a real young Muslim who know that my life and my death belongs to Allah. And a father like this, calling me to do something, I will say yes, because I know my father. He will never tell me something that Allah did not tell him to do. If we dare and have the courage to become parents like that, and our children to become kids like Ismail, Allah will give us the fruit, and there will be no death for us. When Ismail said yes to the call of death, he ended up living for eternity. And here we are talking about him now, trying to use his example. Ibrahim and Ismail, what a good example. And the other one, No and Kanaan. No alayhi salam was calling him to life, come on board with us in the ark. But he said, as many young people say, I'm grown up, I don't need your help. I know how to live my life. I'm intelligent. I'm educated. I'm civilized. You have nothing I want, or my father or my mother. But the parents never gave up. But I will say, Noah, you stop there. I will deal with your son now. You calling him to life, he refused. He wants to live his way. And he went his way. And the end of that decision was death. Which one are we? Are you Noah's son? or Ibrahim's son. I want to be like Ismail. To do that, you have to get the meaning of Allah Akbar. Allah is better than my life, than my friends, than the whole world. And then it will be our game, our game and our joy every single day. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. So due to we being under lockdown, remember to sacrifice the handshakes today the hugging, the kissing, even visiting one another. Just enjoy with your family at home and be responsible, be vigilant, because we have the responsibility of keeping the human being safe and we are under this pandemic. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is akbar than this virus and whatever. We think about it, but we don't make this virus the cover of our life every day talking about it. We talk about Allah, and this virus in Shalom. Kulla amman to the Khayyid. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Remember the sacrifice, no handshakes, no hugging, or kissing. Wassalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah, this is the end of the second um, Jamaah. Wa alaikum salam. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Alhamdulillah. We've just listened to the second khutbah from Imam Adam Konda, second Jamaah of Eid al Adha Salam prayer at the Sabah Al Ahmed Masjid and Islamic Education Center. Alhamdulillah. Today, the 30th of. It's today the 30th, eh? What, what is the date today? Oh, the 31st, yes. So it's today the 31st of July 2020. Yes, people are leaving now. Prepare the third Jama, inshallah. I'll just show you a glimpse so you can see the people out there.
Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to take a photo. With Imam. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, okay. Sorry. 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 Okay. It's recorded. You just.